Ooh, what do we have here? Burger King for Tlatos. Wait, wait, no, 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 stop, no, no, stop, stop. Porter Robinson is a weeboo. And this weeb is one of the best producers of the century. And the best producers always use Able. Actually, Porter Robinson uses Fruity Loop Studio. <laughs> nah, there's no way he uses That's fine. Man, no wonder why his LP did so bad. He should have bought Able in the next day. So the type of samples that Porter Robinson likes to use, he uses a lot of sample magic samples and a lot of vengeance samples. I mean, don't believe me. I mean, the man himself said it. There are lots of um, sample libraries you can download, like for example, vengeance. See, he said it himself. But maybe you don't mean drum samples and you mean like musical samples and for the Actually, no, ignore that part, ignore that part. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Get a, get a sample from these two and just, just find something. You just want to find something good. Pretty much like your sample should look kind of like a sideways hat. Because uh... Bug with love, yeah! Then you want some claps. And for the claps, you want the part kind of like this. And then for like the drop, then you want you want snares and oh uh, did I ever mention you want them hard kind of like this? Oh yeah, he uses a lot of fills too. And I don't know how to describe the sound. Like it just sounds something like this. And then you want something like this. And then that. All together it should sound something like this. And the drop. Once you get that, you just all you want to do is just repeat. Oh, did I ever mention you want the part kind of like this? And for like your sauce chords and all that sh <laughs> sauce chords. Basically, for like the sound design stuff, you want to like twist this knob you see right here, and a little bit of this thing, and then that, and this thing. I don't know what this does. Twist this thing and like twist that, and then wait, hold on. Porter Robinson doesn't do sound design. Pretty much your chords should sound something like this. And like, uh, for the other part, like, uh, kinda like, you know... Like, do you hear all that? For like, the drop? Man, we're going really- I don't know, are you- are you guys following? Like, you- you basically should sound like this. If we're like this- Ah. Uh... I chain. You don't want it like a I chain. You want it more like chain. Before mixing, you just add a bunch of sound goodizers. Make sure they're maxed out. And yeah, it'll sound very good. Alright, so for like the chords and stuff, you wanna grab four or three chords or something like that. The way he like does his chords and shit, like there's like a lot of inspiration involved. So basically, you wanna kinda like, you know. Wait, hold on, this is not even the right key. <laughs> I mean, if you're struggling with coming up with these, you know, you can always look for inspiration. And basically, yeah, kind of like, uh, actually, what was the key of the song? I totally forgot. Yeah, that's the key of the song, right? Pretty much there's certain sounds that he really uses. You'll be surprised, they're not really that hard to find. Like, like here's one of them, like, let's see, can you guess where this comes from? Rings a bell. You, you ever seen this shit? Like, yeah, he uses a lot of LSD. And they're like, there's one, like, there's a harp, like, it kind of goes like this. And there's another one, he uses, like, this thing. And there's, like, a Celesta thing. <laughs> and there's, like, this really important one, like, like, you know, you know this one? Uh, there's like a flicker lead thing, like you know the lead from the flicker thing. The he also likes to use a bleep. Make sure there's like. Oh, do you know this lead? You should know this lead. Oh, right, there's like another lead he does too. Like it's a slidey thing. He uses a lot of arps, and if you're wondering where you get that, like, you need the harmer thing, and there's like this weird preset. It's like right there. It's like right there, and God gives you this, this sound. 
Once you get all these sounds, make sure to add inspiration. Now for the sub bass, like if you can't even draw one note, like I don't even know how to teach you. Like sounds like that. Oh yeah, then you also want a weed bass. Sounds like this, like ooh. You wanna have another bass that goes like wow 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 wow. Yo, this guy gets high off of LSD, man. Look, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy actually takes LSD. <laughs> All right, so now for the like the sound effects stuff, like you need to add your generic, you know, white noise. He he likes to steal samples too. Uh, like if you if you, you probably know this one. That's from the Linium song Afterlife. You know, the guy better than Porter Robinson. <laughs> There's like a hoo 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 hoo. And there's like another one. You want to like ruin the drop with Japanese phrases. I don't know why you want that. Yeah. You want to use Vocaloid, and there's a specific one you have to use named Havana. Pretty much to give you an idea of what it sounds like. I made something, and here you go. For Monday, and you have no life. So, pretty much, if you want to get the robotic sound, set it to pitch snap mode. Grab this thing, grab this thing, and lower the gender factor a bit. For Monday, and you have no life. Then you have to process it more to get it more of that robotic sound. For the processing, you want to add inspiration. So to write the lyrics, pretty much you want it to sound like there's two people having a conversation, or more likely they call they're calling out for each other for something because they're separated by something. Like that's to sound very depressing. Pretty much like the Havana, the Vocaloid, is represents the robot, and uh, you, the who sings in the chorus. Oh, did I mention you're supposed to sing in the chorus? Why did you? Did you put her to the stage? Did you put You represent the human, and um, yeah, it kind of sounds like a love story. And uh, to be honest, like when you really think about it, a robot loves a human, that that sounds really fucked up. That I don't know how would that work. How would that work? First thing you want to write is um, hello. And I have no idea what to write about. This is not the right inspiration. Oh my god, I need inspiration. No, that's not right. I need something. I need something. Oh, there it is. I'm <laughs> sorry. 